Today we're going to do a tutorial on how to find your dual angle drill and the pre-existing balls that you have drilled. Uh, I think this is probably the easiest way to understand how dual angle drills work by first understanding what you have in. You see the ball that I have laid out right now. Um, I already driven, uh, drawn a line from your pin through the CG. Now you want to do this with uh, a little different with balls with mass biases by ignoring the CG and drawing a line from the pin to the mass bias. Uh, T to find the dual angle drill that you have in the ball already, the first thing you're going to have to do is find your uh, center grip. Now I'm going to draw a pretend center grip. Um, it'll be close enough for this example, but uh, please have your ball driller, or if you have a quarter scale at home, to find your uh, center grip. So there's our pretend center of grip. I'm going to use the uh, positive axis coordinates of, let's say, five and an eighth over by half up. It'll be good for uh, to draw the line all the way through. For your PAP right here, and this is what you call your bow, your bow line. You want to draw the line all the way up and all the way down. Uh, this will help uh, find your secondary angle if you're doing angle drill. So I'm going to go a half up here and mark it. So what do we already know? We already know that we have uh, our positive axis point now uh, laid out, and we have our line from our pin through our CD. We're almost done finding what we have. The next thing we want to do is from the pin, draw a line through the positive axis point. Okay. So now we've already found one of our coordinates. Oh, we've actually found two. Or all three. We know our now, we know our first angle, which is this line right here. We know our pin to PAP, which is here. And we know our third angle, which is right here. Now to be able to find out what your angles are, you will need this kind of quarter scale. Uh, this is one that is made by Turbo 2-in-1 uh, Grips. Not only does it have the normal uh, markings of a quarter scale, but it also has the degree system laid on it. Now what you do on your first line, the very first line you drew from your pin to CG, put the center of the quarter scale on the pin and line it up with this line right here. Now what you want to do is match up the secondary line, the line you drew from the pin through the positive axis point, through the quarter scale. Here it shows 50, we'll estimate it at 55 degrees. So that's your first number of your dual angle drill, is 55 degrees. Your second number in your dual angle drill is going to be your pin to PAP. That number is going to be, for this ball, about three and a half. So it's going to be 55 degrees by three and a half. And our third number, which most people get most confused about, we're going to go from pin, to, we're going, I'm sorry, we're going to put our quarter scale middle on the PAP and from the line to the, to the pin. Continue this line a little longer. So now, now the center of the quarter scale is on the PAP, lined up with the pin. We can look here and mark our number, which is 70 degrees. So our full number, our dual angle layout is going to be 55 by 3.5 by 70 degrees. Now what I like to do is take, and what Mo has shown in his dual angle, in his uh, instructions is you add the first number plus the second number. So 70, 55, and 70 is 125. The bigger the number of the dual angle drill, the longer it takes the ball to transition. The smaller the number, the quicker the ball is going to uh, roll up. 
Um, you can have anywhere from low from 30 degrees, anywhere to anywhere to 160. 160 the slowest, about 20, 30 cool kicks. You can see here this is 125 degrees, so it's going to take it's going to transition pretty not as quick off the break point. The nice thing I found out about using dual angle drills, and Mo's also described this, say you find a ball that you absolutely love, and you find out what your dual angle drill is, and you find out what the sum of the, sum of the two angles are. This one, say, this one I absolutely love, and it's 125. I can mess around with these numbers and make this first number short, make this second number long, to equal 125. I'm going to get a different look, but overall, I'm almost, I'm going to get a ball reaction that I'm familiar with, that, I'm, that hopefully I'll love too. Um, I will have my email address on my my page. If you have any questions, please contact me. Uh, and the second part of the tour.